Welcome to this video on AI for PDF documents. PDF, which is Portable Document Format, which is the most common format used by various companies in the world. Various people use it for various reasons. It can be used for creating invoices, creating purchase orders, offer letters, agreement document and so on. Even the banks send you the document which is bank statement in a PDF format. The reason why people use PDF so that it is secure, people should not be able to edit it. But now, there are many people who like to edit that PDF, who wants to make some changes in the PDF. And there are various things that they want to convert PDF to Word, PDF to Excel, or they want to summarize the PDF. Many things people face problems in this. So today, we are going to see a new AI tool, which is UPDF, which consists of all the features which people face problem today. So this versatile tool, which is UPDF, is compatible with various operating systems like Androids, iOS, you can also use on PCs and so on. So let us understand in detail about UPDF and what features this UPDF brings it. So there are many features in the UPDF document, but I'll try to cover only top 10 features. The first feature would be how do you comment? Some people like to underline, they like to highlight, they'd like to do some changes on the PDF document. So first is comment. Editing a PDF document, portable document format, editing a PDF document, that's what we'll see. The third feature is, we'll see how do you organize a PDF document. Imagine I have 1000 pages, one PDF, I can split into 1000 PDF or if I have 1000 pages, I can combine into one page using this organize option in UPDF. The fourth feature is OCR, optical character recognition. If I have a scanned image, how do I extract the text from there? I can use that option. The next feature we'll see about how do you summarize a document. 1000 pages and I want to quickly understand what it is trying to say. Summarize document with the help of UPDF. Chat with AI. If I want to just ask any random questions to that 1000 pages, UPDF is very easy. It can ask, it can give you answers to any questions in the document. The next feature you have, how do you convert a document into other format? If you want to convert from PDF to Word document, you can do it quickly with the help of UPDF document here. The next feature we have is how do you save a file with a password? If you want to make it very confidential, you can save with the help of UPDF into some other password format. The next part we'll see about the language translation. How do you convert English to German or French or French into German and English with the help of language translation feature in this UPDF. The next and the last one would be how do you convert a form in a PDF? You can create a form and ask people to enter the data. That is possible in this UPDF document. So these are the top 10 features we'll try to cover in this video and there are many, many other features. All right, so let's begin with the first feature in the UPDF document, how to use comment option. Now, the first thing which I like about UPDF is their website. If you go to the website, it's very lovely. You can highlight, you can comment. There's a very good user interface on that website. So let us begin with the UPDF document. I can first open a PDF document. I can click on open file and I can pick up one sample PDF document, click on open. So that PDF document, and it's just a 10 pages of PDF document. How do I see? You can see on the top, there are 10 pages in the PDF document. Now, first thing, if I select something over here, now the first one, which I said was comment. If I click on comment, these are all the features in the comment, very interesting features. I can select, I can highlight, you can see, I can uh, click on U, underline something. I can click on T and I can just move something over here. You can see it's so fast. I can click on T and I can put a text box over here. This is text box. I can also click on this comment option, which is sticky note. I can click here. And if I want my colleague to understand, so I can put a sticky note here. Kindly read this. And I can click outside. That's a sticky note, which a person can get. And this is a cool feature. And I'm sure some young person has put this feature. So these are some stickers which you can put. If you see, these are lovely images. A person who's in 20s and 30s can only insert this quick, interesting stickers. So someone is there in their team who is doing a great job. So this kind of stickers you can put so that it looks very lively. So school, colleges, they can use this PDF document. And there are some more features you can go through on this. You can also put a stamp on this location. You can put signatures as well on this location. The second feature is edit a PDF document. This is the most important feature. Everybody likes to use it. Suppose I want to edit some text. I clicked on the edit PDF and here I can put here my name. Carefully observe, my name is entered in the same font which is already from a PDF. If I click after finish and if I type here my name, carefully observe, it has captured the bold text. I can scroll on the top and I can just put in the title. You can see create first Power BI report. I don't have to tell them what font, what color and what has to be used. 
it is so smart it understand what font what size has to be used and what color however if i want i can change the color i can select this and i can modify the color that is also possible here but uh, very good feature i like this feature over here the next fun is uh, creation of form if i go down here and suppose i want to create a form here you can see third option which is prepare a form and here these are the options of form so if you are a developer if you are a person who file some itr and government documents and all you understand what is a form so here i can click on this uh, text field i can click on this the first field control c control v copy paste copy paste copy paste and these are four fields now when i click on preview form i can show this form to my colleague so i can write here my first name my last name and my address so i stay in pune and i stay near to hinjewadi okay so i can put all the details so that's one form i can disable the preview and there are some some other options which also can be used like there are some buttons which i can use it there are some drop downs which i can use it and there are some date and calendar icons which i can pick up and there's also a text field which i can also make sure it is added so these are useful for a person who likes to create a form not only this you can also think of aligning this text boxes in a proper manner align left and you can tell them distribute vertically so you see how smartly and how beautifully they are arranged over here that is one uh, creating a form in that location the next option which is there is the organizing pdf this is my favorite so if there are 10 pages in the document please understand i want to shift page 2 from here to the last page somewhere if i click on page 3 i can move it at the bottom somewhere down okay and i can just shift between the pages here these are the options you can extract a pdf you can split a pdf suppose i want to split i want to split by number of pages so one document 10 pages i can make 10 pdfs very very smoothly this is useful for all the colleges and school who send a low attendance report to their parents okay they create in one format they send it second it can be useful for all the accountants who create multiple invoices purchase orders and send it to different clients that is useful for them so split by number of pages and i can say number of pages one it says 10 pdfs should be created when i click on split and here if you observe it is asking me the location i will show you within seconds how this can be split into multiple pages and here we go so all the documents are been split and we have got the output here okay let me show you on my screen these are 10 pages pdf document within seconds it has been converted now this takes lot of time people spend lot of time they think they are doing a hard work now it's not a time for all the people in the world of ai don't work hard work smart everything is available so you can extract a pdf you can split a pdf you can also combine a pdf okay you can rotate a pdf and you can delete as pages as well so that is the next option crop this is one additional feature if i want to just crop it i can just move it and i can click on crop option very small and interesting feature here the next one is how do you convert into different documents please observe export pdf i can export into word into powerpoint into excel into csv almost 10 different options i can export into those formats here so exporting pdf is very simple and very easy here all right so the next feature very interesting one is how do you summarize a document a pdf document imagine 10000 pages or 1000 pages whatever it is so if i click on this control e option control e option is always my favorite in excel in power bi and now in pdf so when you press control e and here if you click on get started this pdf document is uploaded on the updf server over there and it might start asking questions to you what do you want exactly so the first one i can ask them question to translate this document into some other language so it's first giving me i can click on stop here if you see there's a bulb icon first i want to translate the entire page if i click on this option which language do you want to convert into if your boss or company is in some other country you can pick up that document and let's say if i want to convert into danish and i can click on go to this will convert all the 10 pages into danish within few seconds that is possible and you can see it's so fast it's trying to convert everything in danish and that is a language conversion and when i was working in one of the company there was a fls department foreign language services they used to charge 1 rupee per word now everything is done with the help of ai and it's so fast you don't have to wait for anyone so that is language translation 
Second, if I want to summarize the entire page, I have less time. I'm a very busy person. I want to see the entire page within seconds. I can click on summarize this page and let's say I want to summarize page one to page four. Click on go. This will summarize the entire page so that I can read it quickly and I can go for a meeting. That is what you call summarize page. The next feature is about chatting. Now, this is one of the interesting feature. I can chat and ask any question on that PDF. Imagine you are a person as a tenant staying in Bangalore, a city with heavy traffic and you want to understand in that agreement what are the square feet of your flat or what are the number of fans you have or if you are a agreement document of the company you can ask how much the vendor is charging what are the terms and conditions so let me ask what is the password okay so when I ask what is the password it will go through understand if it is there it will give the answers also, I can ask them to summarize this document. I can enter and again, it will go through and summarize the entire document always over here. So this chat feature is there where I can keep on asking questions about the document and I can still get the answers. The next feature we have is the OCR feature, Optical Character Recognition. Whenever you have a scanned image, which you have taken from a photo or some other places, and you still want to extract the text from that scanned copy or image, we have a feature named as OCR, Optical Character Recognition. So when you click on this OCR feature, there are two options. One is a searchable PDF and second is image only PDF. So you can select the option appropriately. And what will happen is it will try to scan the text from that particular image and give it the output in a PDF format. This is the OCR feature, which is new feature added in the U PDF. You can go through and see this option over here. Now, based on your work, you can pick up whether there are text and pictures only. Sometimes on the pictures, you get a text. So you can pick up as text over page image. You can say text under the page image. These options are there. You can pick up the option wisely and you can use it in your PDF document. And the last feature of this U PDF would be, how do you save this PDF with a password? Okay, how do you encrypt it with a password? You can click on this option, which is protect using password option here. Then it will ask you some options. How do you want to use this PDF password? while opening, while modifying, and you can pick up this option. So first one is document open. So we can select this option, enter the password and save the file. And the permissions are also given here. So let's pick up document open. Here I can say document open password. I can write as one, two, three, four, five, six. And same way, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now I can click on apply. And now this file is saved with the password. I can click on save and I can save on the location. Click on save. So when I close this PDF document, so when I open that folder and now when I double click and open, it will definitely ask a password. You can see that's a password protected PDF document. So that's a benefit of U PDF documents. So everyone, this is a PDF document. That's a U PDF software, which is an AI feature, which should be used by many corporate companies, many people who are freelancers so that they can save their time and energy. All right, so these were the top 10 features which I thought will be useful for all the companies based on my case study, based on my working with different organizations. One thing I've observed, people give more importance to hard work. They spend a lot of time into one simple activity and task. I think this UPDF is one-stop solution for all your problems. This is an AI-powered software which contains all the advanced features which you try to search in different platforms. There's a link given in the description. You can click on the link and get some discount or the offer over there and start using this UPDM. I wish you all the best.